action. Okay, so this is a Ibanez, Ibanez, I don't know, um, guitar. I guess I'll show you the front. It's very dusty because I haven't played it in a while. But I'm getting into soldering and I'm wanting to build my own guitar. So I thought I would look behind, under the hood. This black area here is the hood. Um, I believe this connects the neck to the body, so I'm not going to mess with that. But I believe it's perfectly okay and standard to mess with um, this black area here. So we're going to need a screwdriver and this kit of tools. And this is for the screwdrivers. And so these appear to be rather large star shape, or I don't know what the name for it is called. Um, it's not an exact star, it's a, you know, one of those. So I think I will try this. This is what I'm going to try here. This. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. And so what we do is we pop it in. And then on the screwdriver, up is right, down is left. Um, and as the saying goes, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we want to turn it to the left because we're unscrewing these guitars. Okay, and I've never done this before, and I'm there's a small chance I might wreck this, but hopefully not. And it comes out pretty easy. Here is the screw. So this is something that you might do. It looks like it's not 100% necessary in order to change the strings, uh, but... Um, one, two, three, four, five. It would be a little bit difficult to change the strings without doing this. And I haven't changed the strings on this yet. But we should also be seeing some of the hardware. We should be seeing this humbucker, this legendary humbucker, or whatever pickup it is called, that I will be having to solder. Okay, so should be able to just pop this open. There we go. Okay, well, there we go. See, I'm treating it with kids gloves, which maybe is not what is required. There. Zoom. Zoom out. Okay, that's good. So, it looks like there's a wire that, okay, obviously this isn't plugged in, but I feel weird about this. So we've got these coils. Um, and incidentally, this these holes here or for replacing the strings. So we've got these coils, and then we have a wire that goes beneath this. It looks like basically what the deal is, is you these things here are the pickups. They pick up the set, they pick up the vibration and send it to the amp. So basically you put these on top and then a wire goes through the body um, and then out here and this is probably not true with all models but you then um, 
solder it, I can definitely tell that's a piece of soldering. Just solder it down to that whatever it is that uh, I don't understand how it works, but that's how it is. So that let me let go some insight and I will put this back on. So let's hope we can put it on. It was left loose, now we want right tight. Mm. Well this is this is not going back on. Maybe it's upside down actually. This, we have a little chip there. Well, either go on or stay off. No. No, that's not. It's not upside down. There we go. That, now it's nice and good. So nice and tight with everyone, not too tight. My dad likes it really tight. I don't think it should be overly tight. There you go. Put this aside.